Hello everybody and welcome to the very first inaugural Drunk Dude Plays. I'm Max Meadows and I'm drunk. <laughs> Today for the very first Drunk Dude Plays I'm going to be playing Metal Gear Solid. It's probably my favorite game of all time. I grew up on it as a kid. I got it the year it came out after playing a demo, a Japanese demo no less, for like for at least a year. The game finally come out and it blew my mind, my tiny little 11 year old mind, I couldn't handle it. Still to this day, every time I play this game, it makes me emotional, makes me realize exactly where all my appreciation of storylines comes from. Kind of stemmed from this game. Back then, man, I, I couldn't even comprehend that a video game would actually attempt to have a storyline. No less a good storyline. I mean, you had this and you had, you know, the Final Fantasy games, which is about it. And what else was there, to be honest with you? I mean, come on, look. You'll have two David Hayter, that's all it's today. How can you beat that? You Chief the most Anderson iconic voice of all time in any video game ever. It, it boggles the mind. Secondly, and to recently to just find out that he may not be to make a Snake in Metal Gear Solid 5. It hurts. <laughs> Hopefully it's just... Hideo Kojima just pulling a big douchebag move just to piss everybody off. You know, he does that kind of thing. He's a weirdo. But, you know, if it does happen and if David Hayter does come back for this game, Metal Gear Solid 5, then, well, <laughs> I can't say I'd be more surprised than I was surprised that Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2, that was probably the biggest and dumbest surprise my puny little mind can comprehend now I plan on at least um, trying to be quiet during cutscenes but this one I mean it's not in particular important it's just kind of summing up everything that's going on and if you've played these games and you or if you haven't played these games rather Stupid drunk brain, it's already kicking in. It's it's gonna be terrible <laughs> by the end of this. Um and finally in charge of them. Yeah, if you haven't played these video games, then what are you doing here? Go do it immediately. Don't watch me play it, don't watch me screw this game up by being totally wasted. Go play these games and then come back and see how it's not supposed to be played. Anyone going with me? Which essentially is the the plan with <laughs> Drunk Dude Plays, I'm going to attempt to beat this game in one sitting, as I will with most of the games that I play, at least the ones that are um, comprehensible to do so. I'm not going to sit here and try to play Skyrim, you know, in one sitting, because that would be dumb and impossible. If I wanted to destroy my kidneys and die, then yeah, sure, I might try that, but mm, no, I'm not entirely dumb. Oh, it's worth mentioning that I am playing the PC version. As you can see here, I think I mapped out all the controls I went through before I started this video to at least make sure that I did anyway. Hopefully it doesn't come back and murder me here in a little while. Exit out of that. All right. I'll use this time at the menu to sort of explain the whole idea behind Drunk Dude Play is already said that I'm going to attempt to beat this game in one sitting, which may or may not happen. I have not started this until 11.30 p.m., so <laughs> I imagine I'm going to be both drunk and tired before long. And oh yeah, I plan on telling everyone what it is I'm drinking. I don't know about telling brands and stuff like that just yet. Um, I don't know how YouTube feels about that sort of stuff, but I'm just drinking beer for this one. I really wanted to do something special and drink something like uh, absinthe because I love absinthe. But I'm broke. <laughs> I mean, a bottle of absinthe is like 70 bucks as composed as opposed to you know a 12 pack of beer, which is 
10 bucks, you know, at a gas station. Okay, enough talking. Let's play this game, and I can ramble on. Let me make sure the subtitles are on. Uh, captions, yes, okay. That way, if you feel like seeing the story, you can at least read it. <laughs> I'll try not to talk. It depends on how absorbed I get into this game. Uh, yeah, let's do normal. I don't want to go all cheap on everyone. Excuse me. <laughs> and this game's already pulling me back in. It's been probably five years since I played this game. And it's already doing the job. I've never beat the PC version, actually. I have heard that there are some pretty big game-breaking bugs, but um, I did download a, a patch, a fan patch, that has supposedly fixed all of those problems, but I can't exactly be sure. We'll see. There's one particular part that completely, like I said, just breaks the game if it's not fixed. If I come to that part and it is broken, then I will attempt to fix it. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codex. <laughs> Oh, stealth, this is gonna suck so bad. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact <laughs> you, on games back the then, they just totally said, screw you, fourth wall. Press, press the, the R2 button. button, press the square the button, press the circle button, button. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Alright. Get this ration here, I always remember it. As you can tell, I'm already squirming around everywhere. It doesn't help that I'm using this stick on this game. It's kind of, uh, I guess, floppy or wavy <laughs> whenever you try to control Snake. Turn around. All right. Over this water. There's another ration. It's, it's coming back. Oh, there's another ration also. I actually heard there is a way to play this, the PC version, entirely in first person. Um, I wasn't ever able to find out how to do that, but that would be interesting. Now, I don't remember any of these dudes. Oh, see? <laughs> Any of these guys' routes, I have no idea. Now, if I had liquor, um, I planned on every time I fought a boss taking a shot, and every time I died. And if I had done that, I would be totally murdered by the end of this game. Damn it, what the hell? I'm gonna have to do something risky, apparently, with this guy. What do we want over there? One more time. This already isn't going very well. It's, it's gonna take much more than the time I have allotted for this. Alright, turn over there, get out of my way. Thank you. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't turn around by the time this comes down. That would suck so badly. Uh, okay. Stupid water, stupid water. Hmm. It is hard to keep him on the wall with that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to try to set up some directional pack controls. Move left. 
should be left, right? <laughs> Move right. Up. Down. Okay. Yes. Up and down work. Okay, it's working. Good. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> shit. That was so lucky, man. Work. What the heck? That is not right. It's trying to like... Whenever I hold left or up or something, it just... It's like I'm pressing it. So he like runs two feet and stops, runs two feet and stops. It's just like repeating the button. Damn it. <laughs> so it looks like I'm gonna have to use the stick. Uh, uh, this is not gonna end well. <laughs> I hope you guys can sort of enjoy this. It will be pretty entertaining. I imagine toward the end of this, it's it's gonna be horrible. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, um, while I'm thinking about it, I should probably, oh, Metal Gear Solid, tactical espionage action. That's probably going to be the, the, the picture for all of these videos. But anyway, uh, while I'm thinking about it, I should probably tell you a little bit about myself. Or not, because here comes a cutscene. Yeah, you can tell I haven't really prepared for this. It's just kind of... I was going to wait until I had a bigger hard drive to actually do this, but... I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm bored. I have nothing else to do. Might as well just do it tonight. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working I think he's like 33 at this point. Dry, but it's a little hard to move. Something like Bear that. It. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Shut up, Naomi. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Dun dun dun. Liquid. You don't give a fuck, man. Watch. Behind D. Colonel. I wish so much that he'd have been a villain throughout the whole series. That would have been so awesome. I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. You know, it's cool they kind of kept up the, uh, the jacket he's wearing here. He wears it, and Psycho Manus wears it. And I think Ocelot wears it. And this one, and they had um, Big Boss wear it. Spoilers! Spoilers! Big old spoilers! In Metal Gear Solid 4, whenever he came back, he um, he had that exact same jacket on. Nostalgia! It's blowing my mind right now. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Well, you must be crazy <laughs> now I wonder if you went past 18 hours. Who's that? This game would just oh, end, and you were screwed. I introduced you to yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. I am Snake. Specialist. He's about to be a womanizer. She designed your codec as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you Typical have Typical secret spy her. agent guy, you know. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. Smooth. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But, uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. 
Make sure yeah, they can only see 15 feet in front of their face. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. Humor can be so cheesy in these games. What a love it. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken yeah, it's away. It's about to get weird. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. She's awful oh, candid with the guy doctor. that she poisoned way, a few sorry days ago. To you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. I hope you swallowed them. <laughs> How are those going to help you? <laughs> you never know. Of course, the get him in his stomach from the other way would have been <laughs> a pretty terrible endeavor. If you want to get in, but still, he had to get him out. So, <laughs> the front door. The when exactly did he pop a squat and take his cigarettes out of his butt? <laughs> He must have done that in that scuba tube thing he rode down here. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. See, I can't switch from one direction to the other with this control. Well, no, it's working. Sort of. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Famous last words. I don't think there's anything over here. Ah, God, I cannot handle that. <laughs> I'm going to have to switch it back. Let's see here. Move left. Right. Wait a second. Okay. Now, perhaps we can do this. I'm using the stick again. Uh, where's this guy over here? He's gone. Okay. Is that worth going for? Nope. I don't think I can. Oh, crap. I apologize, there's going to be a lot of this kind of stuff in this game. For anyone who's ever played it, there's a lot of standing around and waiting until dudes just get the hell out of the way. Now, the later ones, like number two and three, you know, you had that uh, tranquilizer gun pretty much right from the get go. And, you know, I guess pop them in the head, done. Go from there. Get my SOCOM pistol here. Yep. Oh, 
don't think he's going to come around. Hello. Hello. You're hiding out of my way. Oh yeah, I think there's something over here. I went and got those. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I went and got those chaff grenades over here. I could go in here and get stun grenades. I think, but they're not really worth it at this point. To be honest. A surveillance camera. Yes, yes, yes. the heck was that? That freaked me out. What the heck was that? That sounded like a sneeze or something. Hope it's not me already. Because I know he can sneeze. Not right now, not right now. Okay, that went fairly well. Oh, the stick is impossible. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole. I thought than I could you. trick you and make you well, deploy metal gear, you know, all that kind of stuff. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So Thanks, me Miller. If you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here? My frequency is one four one point eight zero. Yeah, it's probably mentioned that I'm going to attempt at least to set the limit on these videos at about thirty minutes. So. I think in another 10 or 15 minutes I'm going to cut this video off and then do another intro for the next part because I don't want to be sitting there and uploading videos all day for one part. My bandwidth is absolutely terrible. Oh yeah, I should also mention I live in the country which is mostly the reason that I have terrible bandwidth. Also keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Woman in the cell? Woman in the cell? Oh yeah, I totally spaced out. I uh, I just remembered that I was going to talk about myself and tell you a little about a little bit about who I am. But then I spaced out while watching these amazing cutscenes. <laughs> um as I said, you can call me Max Meadows. I live in uh, Virginia. Up in the mountains, as far west as you can get in Virginia, basically. And, um... It's pretty cool here. You know, you can go on a lot of hikes and, and that sort of thing. The mountains are cool. If you like mountains. I like mountains. I'm going to ignore most of these calls because I just really want to get through here as quickly as possible. Now, if I know there's a cool call coming up that I can trigger myself, then uh, I'm going to do that. But then there are ones that I have no control over that just trigger automatically. <laughs> it's like this. Here is an awesome one. Oh, oops. McDonald Miller has something pretty funny to say. Sorry, Master Miller. That floor is designed so that your footsteps echo. Listen, Snake, there's a way to walk so your footsteps won't be heard. I call it stalking. Here's how you do it. 
First, put your weight on the opposite foot that you're going to step with. Then, take a step so that your heel makes contact with the ground first. Then, as you slowly lower the tip of your foot to the floor, gradually shift your weight onto that foot. Use your knees to maintain the subtle balance. Try it. I... I can't do it. Another way is to <laughs> wear your socks over your shoes. If you crawl on your stomach, you won't make any noise either. Ah, uh, yes, the fact that you can only run really, really fast in this game. Subtle joke. Now, they usually only hear you if, um, they're kind of on your same level. You're, you know, see, if there was a guy over here straight in front of me, then he would hear me if I ran on this. But down there, I usually, I've never had a problem with him hearing me. Fuck you, camera! I think I can do the whole DARPA chief section and then I'll cut this video off. I don't seem like a pretty good place to stop. But yeah, I should probably also mention that I am uh, currently a game design student in my second year so the further along I get in that uh, I think I'll be able to provide some pretty useful information about how games work, how they're made. I think that's at least a plan. I also have a plan to, um, at least attempt, anyway, to get a hold of some of my professors and, um, see if they'll come along for a video every once in a while. That's probably not going to happen. I'm sure most of my teachers will not want to, um, Come out and get drunk with one of their students and play video games, but uh, you never know. It's worth a shot. Be a surprise guest every once in a while. Oh yes, here's some funny little moment. Oh, kind of damn cold. I hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. And it is so ridiculous that that guy ends up marrying her. <laughs> I mean, come on, Ideo. We all wanted Snake and Meryl to hook up. Everyone did. You knew it. You gave us fan service for everything else, but for some reason, when it came to that, you just said, nah. Not or is it? Spoiler. What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. No, I'm just kidding. And he just climbs back up through there and just leaves. You don't I'm just that fucking that. with you. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? Sweet possible? baby Jesus. They could launch a nuke. What? <laughs> I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. I'm sorry, I'm drunk. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon 
with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear... It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? Ah, you know, I blew up a few a few times. No big deal. Past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal Happens site. all the time. And why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? Oh. I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Stop talking about all those nukes and robots and shit. I'm trying to get diarrhea over here. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. And he also has one of the coolest backstories one of ever the for of a Fox boss. Island. He has psychic powers. This is bad. All Phil sneezes. It's just a matter of time before they get moved. <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh, excuse me if you heard that. Baker's password. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. There is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? The one I have firmly Bear placed between my breasts. Listen, you need <laughs> he said three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But Snake is pretty dense at this point. Pentagon. 
What is it? <laughs> Subtitles for screams are always hilarious. Hey, what happened? Chief, what happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? Yeah. I told you. The Secretary yeah. of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. But I don't want him. I'm gonna have him in his bed. Congratulations, Meryl. You just beat up your husband. And for some reason, the PC version? Underwear. <laughs> the uh, PlayStation version did not have underwear. It was just a, you know, sensor blurry bar thingamajig. All right. I might save it here, you know, just in case. Nice 32 bit Liquid. eyes, baby doll. No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Where the hell they Open come that from? door. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Oh, take that. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! I'm telling you, shoot! I'm sorry if you can hear me mashing on this controller. I know this mic is very sensitive. And it's actually, funny enough, a rock band microphone, <laughs> in case you're wondering. It's the only microphone I had conveniently laying around. I said, you know what? Thanks for that help. Screw it. Just stuck at my computer to see if it worked. Sure enough, it works fine. It actually sounds pretty good. It's just very, very sensitive. Boss, 
She is a terrible shot. That was very Japanese. Hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Indeed. All right. This seems like a good place to stop this episode. So uh, I think in the next episode we'll be able to fight Revolver Ocelot, which should be pretty interesting. We'll see how that goes. I'll probably die. You know, it happens sometimes. We got here nothing. So I don't really have a sign off yet, but uh, I guess uh, <laughs> see you in the next episode.